divinity of God is represented in the middle strand. This covenant relationship is initiated by Him and is intended to glorify Him. One strand represents the groom as a new creation in Christ. The majesty of the groom is represented at the right hand. One strand represents the bride. Having been cleansed by salvation in Christ, the purity of the bride is represented at the left hand as the wife honors her husband and submits herself to the Lord. The Lord in turn will nurture and strengthen the marriage relationship Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Ecclesiastes 't these past few months have been stressful. <laughs> Forgive me for not being there to assist you with the wedding. I want to start with I love you. I knew from the start of our relationship I was going to marry you. I'm not going to write our love story on here because I'm going to share that with our, with our friends and family, but I want to tell you what you mean to me, uh, why I love you and how I'm going to love you. You mean more than words uh, can explain. I felt for you in such a supernatural way. It was truly God's work. You came crashing down on me. You showed me a human love I had never known before. Last of all, grace and mercy go hand in hand with forgiveness. I find it hard to believe that such a beautiful a person like you would say yes to a sinner like me. I know that whatever trials we go through with each other, if we cannot forgive, we will not last. And I love you. Dear Tim, can you believe it? It's been long, long days waiting for you to come home safely from work. Aww. Long days waiting for your response after a workout. Long days waiting for you to call me back after hanging out with your buddies. And long days waiting to finally say I do. All these long days waiting for you, I can say that it is truly worth it. <gasps> wow, Evan <I'm> Leah. <laughs> wow, you look nice. <laughs> you look good. I vow to be disciplined in our relationship. I will keep my eyes fixed on you. I will make you feel loved every day. Even on my bad days, I will choose to love you because that is what love is. Loving you regardless of whatever obstacles we are going through. I will not give up on us. I started thinking, okay, well, what story do I, do I tell? You know, do I tell the story of how we all grew up together? And how we're great friends even to this day? Do I tell the story of how we grew closer because we played music and worshiped and grew through Christ? 
Do I tell the story of how he's always been there for me, especially the last few years? But growing up, um, Avon has always been a good sister to me, but I didn't realize that until college here. <laughs> and I'm kind of sad that she's leaving, but I remember in college, like college was really hard for me, but she will always like give me a bus ticket to go visit her, even though she was only three hours away. You're a person who hears and who is empathetic and gentle. So thank you for loving me and your eight siblings and the two dogs. You're a picture of grace and I love you a lot. I vow to remind you that we are sinners, perfect people who have been saved through Christ's death on the cross. And it is by his grace we are here today to enjoy our marriage. Well, thank you for sticking by me through and through. As you stand here and moving forward to the rest of our lives, I promise to love you with all of my heart through the good and the bad when we're fighting and we can't stand to look at each other. I promise to love you. I promise to be your honest, faithful, and loving wife. I promise to love you for who you are and for who you are yet to become. I promise to be patient and to remember that all things between us are rooted in love. I promise to nurture your dreams and to help you reach them. I promise to tend to you when you are weak and celebrate every gloriousness that you achieve. I will do my best to protect you, and I will choose you every day when I wake up and when I go to bed. We will serve the Lord together, pray together, uplift one another, and serve one another. I thank the Lord for the love that He has bounded our hearts and to live together in the spiritual and fellowship of, through this marriage.